So, Road to the Knockouts Team 2 has now dropped and it actually features a pretty nice looking centre back from Benfica. So, in this video today, we're going to try out Lucas Verissimo, whose name hopefully I have got correct. Anyway, H3 pace, obviously very appealing, and it looks like some pretty good defending and physical stats as well. So hopefully, as I say, he does make for a very nice CB option. Low medium wear rates are a bit weird, but hopefully they don't affect him too badly. We'll obviously see how that is uh, when we get into the games. Now, Benfica are in a bit of an interesting position in their Champions League group, currently sat second, one point ahead of Barcelona. So... Do you think he's going to get either upgrade? Let me know in the comments section down below. I definitely don't think Benfica are going to win all three remaining games, but they could potentially get out the group. But um, I feel like most people will favour Barcelona to come back and probably take that second spot. But we'll see. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, we're here to focus on this card, so let's have a look at Kem Style. Right then, Kem Styles, what are we going with? Well, I think we all know the choice is going to be between Anker or shadow and you know what i'm actually gonna go with anchor i like that plus 10 in the strength i think it'll be very useful and let's be honest he's already pretty quick at 88 pace so uh definitely shouldn't feel slow in this outing we're up against a very good side i hate playing against that benzer but he's so good nice had to make that tackle there and he did and now because of that we've put the ball in the back of the net Good intercept. Good intercept because my defence was all over the place there. Okay, half time in this one. Unfortunately, the clean sheet is gone, but it was a long shot. And to be honest, there wasn't too much we could have done. That's an interesting chance. Dembele comes across, but our Brazilian centre-back does a really good job on him. Nice block. When you shoot out a line, you've got to make the block, otherwise it's game over. Nice. In the end, we did have to have two chances. And the game ends in a 1-1 draw. Disappointing. Was against a good opposition though, so can't be too disheartened, I guess. Fought the centre-back. Uh, Verissimo was actually very, very solid in that game. Felt mobile, made some good blocks. His tackling isn't fantastic, but it's good enough for this stage. And as I say, made some really, really nice intercepts in that game as well. This is what we face in the first match. Pretty solid Bundesliga side. Brazilian centre-back now with a chance to hoof the ball forward. Not going to lie, I was actually aiming for my right wing there, but it's gone straight to Ronaldo. Chance to distribute now. We go long in search of mana. Nice pass in the end. Good positioning. Oh, the clearance was a bit, you know, odd, but we get the job done. Actually goes for the cross here. Oh, and the Brazilian has completely missed the ball. I was trying to head a lot away, but Andre Silva's got in ahead of him and nicked it. There's Howland. Good play there. Brazilian got there just in time. That's the distribute now. Try and find Joe Cole, the searching pass. Pretty good ball as well. And freeze Joe Cole. Half time in this one then. Verissimo has actually been solid for the most part, aside from aerially. So uh, hopefully we can fix that up. Hopefully it's me just being bad at heading. But um, yeah, he got dominated twice by Andre Silva, which is uh, scary. Oh, don't let that go in. I didn't think he was going to react to that then. He almost scored a horrible own goal. Chance to clear. We go long. Won't lie, once again, was aiming towards the wing, but it's worked out for us very nicely. And there's full time. Nice 3-1 victory in this game. Aside from the aerial worry in the first 45, I thought the centre-back was actually really, really good, so happy with his defensive display. Okay, game's done. Let's talk about this card. What did I make of the 82-rated Lucas Verissimo? Um, pretty good item, to be honest. For the most part, a very, very solid centre-back card. But will I use him again? Honestly, probably not, unless he gets a pretty substantial upgrade, if, of course, he does get that upgrade. Because if I'm being honest straight away, I'll say... I think Militao is just a bit more effective in game, and obviously Marquinhos is also much better. So there are better Brazilian options already available in the game. Obviously, if you're building you know, a Portuguese league team, it's a no-brainer to have this guy in your back line. Him and someone like Pepe can probably form you know, a pretty formidable centre-back pairing. Anyway, let's talk about this card a bit more in depth. What did I like about this card? First of all, the pace, very obvious, very good at closing people down, and for the most part, very quick to control as well. And um, Positionally, I won't lie. There was something a bit off about him. I don't think his positioning, uh, positioning sorry, was awful, but I also didn't think it was as good as other centre-back options. So just something to note there. But obviously, luckily, he does have plenty of pace. So even if he is caught out of position, does have the ability to track back, which is nice. One thing I have to comment on is the passing. Um, it just wasn't as good as the in-game stats suggest. You guys know I love to play out the back and do those long pinged through balls from my centre-backs. This guy's actually got really good short and long passing, but it just 
didn't seem to work for me like it wasn't going where I aimed it and that was very very frustrating occasionally it would go where I wanted to but it just wasn't consistent and that was a little bit annoying defensively though I've got to say the card was solid made some good tackles sliding ability was nice and his interception rate was also pretty high as well so like that area of his game and the same to be fair can be said for his physicals just very very solid definitely has a good bit of strength about him nice aggression and can win those 1v1s aerially I didn't think he was you know as good as other center back options one more he wasn't terrible but he wasn't as commanding as let's say some other centre backs but all in all it is a very good CB card but there are just so many good defenders already available in the game that there are just better options already available in my opinion like I've already touched on Militao and Marquinhos I would use both of them over this card as it currently is but still as I say if you run with you know obviously a Portuguese league team this is definitely a centre back you should consider and to be fair like he's only 20k you can't really go wrong for the price you could pick him up and just maybe hope that Benfica can get out of their group anyway guys as I say overall a good centre back but there are just already many better available in my opinion anyway if you've enjoyed the video please do leave a like rating on it comment below your thoughts let also let me know who I should review next thanks for watching I'll catch you in the next one